Hello brothers and sisters, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We're looking at Songs chapter 6 and continuing with our study on the love dance between woman wisdom and the father forethought. Song 6.1 Whither is thou beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? Whither is thou beloved turned aside, that we may seek him with thee? The companion daughters, many of which are believing and hoping on the things that woman wisdom is revealing to them, are still somewhat immature. They believe, but they also fall into doubt. Where is he? You have been talking about this for some time, but we don't see it coming to pass. If he is real, why is this Adam of yours not coming? Why has he not shown himself? Now please understand that those companions closest to her know of woman wisdom sufferings at the hands of the self-willed ones. They have seen her confusion. They are they are saying, why isn't he coming? Okay? Why has he looked away from you? Because they are witnessing her despair and her longing. If he loves you so much and you share a spirit, why does he not sense your pain and end it? They do not have the full understanding. But they say we will seek him with you. In other words, we will assist you. As midwives, we will support you and carry you through. Even though they have not seen the proof of this revelation and they have their doubts, they have the faith and the leading of Christ to help woman wisdom get the realization and manifestation. These companions are highly favored and are rewarded for their love and support. Song 6-2 My beloved is gone down into his garden to the beds of spices to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. Woman wisdom reassures them it's okay, you know, he, he must be strengthened in the spirit and faith and he must become one with the spirit, with his spirit. Song 6-3 I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine and he feedeth among the lilies. Again woman wisdom declares and proclaims that her and her Adam are one, spirit, and he feeds among the lilies, meaning he gains strength and sustenance from those companion daughters seeking Christ in their own hearts. For all faith and for all faith and worship helps this Adam man of the two witnesses come forward. So in actuality, she is revealing to them the very way in which they can help assist the birth, again as midwives. Song 6-4 Thou art beautiful, O my love, as Tizra, comely as Jerusalem, and terrible as an army with banners. The Lord speaks to her at this moment as she is feeding his lilies, the Lord's companion daughters. He is very pleased with the wisdom she offered to the daughters. We are one body, and one faith uplifts the other body parts. She is terrible as an army of banners because the banner over her is love and it is terrible because he actual he, him actualizing that love brings about perfect uh, a per, sorry her actualizing that love in Christ brings about a perfect love storm that stir, stirs the fallen ones and drives their vessels insane plus it raises the army of the Lord the man child ministry uh, song 6 5 turn away thine eyes from me for they have become they have overcome me thy hair is as a flock of goats that appear from Gilead now we've seen that similar verse before she's feeling ashamed and feels she's been made dirty though and does not want the Lord to look upon her shame for the silly mistake she's made in her confusion among the males that have been superimposing upon her she's saying don't look at ragged me because you're beautiful and perfect and I'm and I'm nothing you know I'm, I'm I've been dirtied again song 6 6 thy teeth are as a flock of sheep which go about from the washing whereof every one beareth twins and there is not one barren among them he reminds her of what her true nature is as he said in chapter 4 and the explanation was as thus your teeth are like a flock of sheep even Sean he is ref referring to the plucking out and filing of false wisdom teeth um, the plucking of false knowledge and they're replaced with perfect wisdom hence they came up from the washing her brain has been washed clean everyone beareth twins how many of you are familiar with the double portion theme in scripture the Rachel's as opposed to the Leah's birth forth twins with every conception these are believers they pair the they pair pairs every time they bear forth Adams and Eve's they change a woman at a time which automatically awakens her twin companion also. Why? Because in spirit, it's one spirit. In flesh, it's two human beings, one man, one woman. Anyway, he's saying, it's okay, woman wisdom, I'm your covering. And while you walk this out, you know, he's saying, while you walk this out and finish this process of becoming, it's okay, I'm with you. Um, song 6-7, as a piece of pomegranate are thy temples within thy locks. 
We already covered this. Her temples are his mind and her frontal cortex, frontal lobes. The pomegranate has abundant fruit that must be knocked out in a particular way to release the buds. She pierces with his mind the minds of men and women with precision. Solomon 6 8. There are three, three score queens and four score concubines and virgins without number. So, number one. Um, More and wisdom, the wife of the end day Adam, and they make the two witnesses. And then there are three choice queens of leading women. These are the three that assisted woman wisdom in her delivery of the man child Adam husband and are made equal to her in their faith and likeness. They are her dearest sisters. We have also seen this with Christ and the disciples he had. Um, sorry, the, with Christ and his disciples, he had his closest companions, the three, right? The queens remain in the wedding chamber. They have the king, Christ, at their side 24-7. These women will enter the wilderness rest and safety along with woman wisdom for 1260 days. The four concubines, however, these four women as concubines, do not enter the 1260 day rest in absolute presence of the Lord. Just as a concubine is only, only called upon when desired by the king, these women will only enter into the fullness of his presence during this period when he appoints. He does not love them less. It is just a poetic way of explaining their different role. These four women must assist the birth, births in the earth. As they were invited to assist in woman wisdom's birth, but chose for their own reasons not to do so. Now they have to assist the birthing forth of others as an exercise in humility. There are no shortcuts and all his work must be made complete in every soul. So these make eight, one woman wisdom and the seven. These seven are the brides of the most highly favored sons, the seven sons the Adam um, that join the Adam witness. They are referred to in Revelation as the seven churches, but they are really the seven spirits of God and the seven sons. Church means called out ones, not church building. 8 plus 8 is the 88 men, um, you know, men and women. 8 is the infinity symbol. Uh, brief explanation. So the 88 is two infinity symbols superimposed over one another. Um, it is the mark of the, of the fully functioning gyroscope, the moving spirit wheel within the wheel. Sun 6, 9. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bear her. This is why I say, you know, it says three queens, four concubines, but then the next one it says there's one. There's only one. This is how we know there's eight, because there's only one of woman wisdom, and then the others follow in her footsteps. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She is the only one of her mother, which is wisdom. Um, so she is synchronizing with and becoming one with woman wisdom in the heavens, right? That's her spirit portion. There's only one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bare her. The daughter saw her and blessed her. Ye, the queens and the concubines, and they praised her. Woman wisdom will be supernaturally by the Lord himself revealed to each of the queens and concubines, the seven, and then after that, the virgins, the other women in waiting, see the book of Esther with the women in waiting. He reveals her to them as the chosen one. The daughters, the seven, bless her. It doesn't mean that they praise her or anything or worship her and they don't give her stuff. No. They receive her love. This blesses woman wisdom because people receiving her love is all she's ever needed. Just like in order to the son, in order for the sons to receive Christ as a son and the father, the women who have already received the father and the son through Christ must also receive their mother wisdom to be made complete. Song 610. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners? This is the mystery. He, Christ, puts women wisdom out there for a long time before the male witness appears. Elijah comes first. And people question, who is she? Why does she make us feel this way? Um, or whatever way that is. They are perplexed by this peculiar creature. She is placed before them and the question is, do they receive her? Fair as the moon, she is the moon. In Revelation 12, she has the moon at her feet. Why? Because she raises above the decayed moon that had its light stolen. She regains her light. More for another day, but see Enoch. Again, a repeat of the fact she is a force we reckon with. We, um, with um, she's a force we reckon with to the army of darkness, and the banner over her is love. Her weapon is perfect love. She raises, births forth, 
the army of the sons of God. She is Eve. So, Song 611, I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley and to see whether the vine flourished and the pomegranates budded. Now she, woman wisdom, goes down into the garden in preparation yet again. She goes to meet the Lord there and to put it simply, checks on her spiritual progress. Is it time yet? Have I done enough to prepare my vessel kind of thing? Song 612, or ever I was aware, my soul made me like the chariots of Aminadab. This time, as she enters the garden with the Lord, she is moved, she is stirred, she is beginning her transfiguration, the actual transfiguration, she is quickening. While she is being quickened, now physically, it is now taking on a very physical experience, or for back of, lack of better term, a shaking, as her body reacts to the infill of light from the Lord. Song 6.13 Return, return, O Shulamite, return, return, that we may look upon thee. What will you see in the Shulamite, as it were the company of two armies? While she is being quickened, the Lord says, return, return, meaning come back, come back home. Come up hither so we can look upon you in your true state of being. The true wisdom woman, the true Pistis Sophia. And as he says, what will you see in the Shulamite? Well, that's a question to everybody else. What will you see when she is before you? And then he says, which is not the question, as it were, the company of two armies. She is the company of two armies. She is the Adams and the Eves. Thank you, brothers and sisters. We'll continue with, num with chapter 7 shortly.